Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a Khan Academy tutorial on increasing and decreasing intervals. This was requested by the Chatha family, so thanks so much for the request. And if you have your own request over any other math topic, go ahead and leave a comment below. For this, we need to understand what is increasing and decreasing intervals for different functions. So if we're looking at a graph, in order to determine if it's increasing or decreasing, we want to know how it's behaving from left to right. Okay, so if we're looking at a graph and we see that it's going from left to right, it's going up like this, then it would be an increasing interval. And from left to right, if it's going in a downward direction, it's going to be decreasing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the graph and we're going to see which one of these options, A through D, applies to this graph. What I'm going to do then is one at a time, I'm going to go ahead and look at the interval provided. So the first one is negative 4 to negative 3. I'm going to look in this region right here. Okay, so I didn't do a great job highlighting it, but <laughs> hope you guys understand the point of I'm looking between this point right here, that's negative 4, and this point, negative 3. And I'm looking for where it's increasing. That means going up. So I want an upward direction. And you can see from this interval between negative 4 and negative 3, it is not going up. It is going down. So A is not a good choice. So we're going to move on to letter B. So letter B says between negative 2 and negative 1. I'm going to go back up to the top. Um, let me just scroll down just a pinch. Okay, so between negative 2 and negative 1, I think is the next one. I already forgot. Negative 2 and negative 1. So I'm going to erase this, and now I'm going to move this over, and I'm going to be looking between negative 2 and negative 1. So we're talking about this interval right here. Is it increasing between here and here? And the answer is yes. See how it's going in an upward direction? We start from lower left to upper right, and that's how we know that it's increasing. Okay, so this is a choice. Now, don't just click one and move on because it says choose all answers that apply. So we have to look at the next interval, which is between zero and one. So if we look between zero and one, okay, let's erase this. Let's highlight between zero and one. So zero and one is right here. That was a great job highlighting right here and here. There's zero for x, there's one for x, just as like a refresher. There's x equals zero, there's x equals one. Between these is the interval and we can see that it's going in an upward direction, left to right, so we know that is also a choice. Can't choose none of the above, obviously. So B and C is our answer, and we got it. All right, so now we're looking for decreasing intervals. Again, if we're just gonna go through here, I can already tell you that I, we could, If you wanted, you could go through and highlight everywhere it's decreasing. So I see it's decreasing left to right through here, and then it's increasing, and then it meets a peak, and then it's back on the decreasing right there. So those are all the places it's decreasing. If you want to just reference that, start with that. Um, I'm going to leave that there, actually, and then I hope I'm at the top. So I'm going to leave that uh, right there, and then we can kind of check it as we look at each interval. So negative 2 to negative 1.5. So negative 2 to negative 1.5, get my highlighter. That's like right in here, okay? That's about right there. And you can see that's increasing during that time span or during that interval, okay? So right here, it's increasing even just a little bit. Doesn't count as decreasing, so A is not a good choice. What about B? Negative 1 to 0. So negative 1 to 0, okay? We're going to look at a different one. Negative 1 to 0 is right here. That's another increase. So negative 1 to 0 is another increase. That one doesn't work, so we need to check one more. Zero to one. So zero to one, you can see that it is right in here, and that is decreasing. It's going down. Okay, we're assuming there's a peak there, so we're just gonna choose zero to one because it's on the way down. We'll check it, and here we go, next one. This one looks pretty complicated. Looks for where it's increasing. There's a lot of places. So if I were to select all the places it's increasing, that would be a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit there, okay? So there's a lot of places that it's on its way up as we move left to right. So let's go ahead and find a couple from negative three to negative two, okay? If you're looking here, negative three to negative two, that's between here and here, that is increasing, that is good selection. Between negative one and zero, negative one is here, zero is here, that is decreasing, it's going down, that's not a choice. 3.5 to 4.5. So 3.5 is about here, 4.5 is about there. That's another increasing spot. So we're gonna select that one and we're gonna move on to our last question. 
uh, decreasing. So we're looking for where this is decreasing. This one's a better one because there's not that many little bumps. The more bumps you have, the more intervals you have are increasing or decreasing. So this one doesn't have a lot. We can see it's decreasing here, and it's also decreasing there. Okay, so we're just going to look here at negative 2.5 to negative 1. Negative uh, 2.5 is right about here. Whoops, I meant to have a red marker. And 1 is there. That is increasing, so that's not a choice. Uh, 0 to 1 is right here. Oops. <laughs> 0 is right here, and then 1 is right here. We can see that's increasing. Another increasing, that's not good. 2.5 to 3.5. Let's take a look at this one. Looks like this one's going to be decreasing. 2.5 is here. 3.5 is there. It's on its way down. So that's going to be our choice. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, make sure to leave a comment if you need help with it. You can request your own video. Uh, and also make sure to like and subscribe if you ever haven't done so. Send this on to someone that you think may need help with this. Share it with your classmates. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.